Right, oh, um, got a couple of 901 DMs coming up, um, and um, this one's got a few little marks on it and bits and pieces, so I don't want to oversell this one. Um, it's, a, it's a lovely working radio, and um, uh, you know, sort of, but um, um, actually, Rue, I'm thinking about this one for you uh, over in South Australia, mate. Just um, I'll send you a link to this. Uh, maybe, you know, it's a possibility that this could be uh, for you. Um, let's make sure it's actually got some noise let me just turn off my uh, my little test radio over there and we'll put some generate some signal on about 7.1 and we've got plenty of signal there so that's good uh, there we go 7.1 and let's take that right down oh wow actually that's nice 0.5 a microvolt and it's hearing okay. I can hear that quite nicely. For an old beast, that's pretty good. No, that's that's uh, nice. Uh, this might be a long video on this one. They're just really just a bit of a power up and show what's uh, happening. Um, I've got another chap that's been awfully patient, um, and there's a cleaner one that um, is more, he's more of the collector. I know what uh, Rue wants to do, and um, this might be more for him. Um, and uh, we shall see. But anyway, look, we'll see what happens. Um, but this one will be obviously um, a little bit less than the, uh, the, the the other very clean one. Uh, and really, it's not that bad. It's just the cover. These top covers here got a few little marks in them that you know would could do with a respray. Apart from that, you know, the front panel on it, it's actually not too bad. A couple of little nicks here and there, but you know, not. I mean, it's not terrible. It's just I'm used to a lot of museum equipment here, and um, when when I do see marks and bits on them, you know, obviously. Yeah, FM working beautifully. Okay, seems to work well. Let me just, um, because I've only got two hands here, I'll just set up the transmitter and um, with our plate load and uh, pre-select. But um, I sort of need two hands to do that, so give me two ticks. Just realised I really can do this with um, uh, one hand because of the um, <laughs> because of the uh, the tune button on these things. They actually hold. Now I'm just peaking. Uh, keep in mind it's lower lower power tune, about 40 watts there. Right, and as you know, the tune button only lasts for so long. Then bang, and that's to save you blowing everything to smithereens. About 40 watts. Um, oh, hang on. Oh, come on. This fine tuning here, and we'll set the tune button once again. Close stuff, but. About 40 watts on um, uh, on the tune mode, so PEP sideband. Unfortunately, my batteries have just gone flat on my PEP, so I'm not going to read. I've got a system here which um, every now and again I've got to charge it, so I'm not going to read PEP very accurately on this. But um, yeah, for what it is, it's actually um, uh, quite a novel radio. Um, hang on, let's just see here. Back in a tune. And going to sideband etc etc and just have a little bit of a look make sure all our bands are coming up on it 10a so nobody's put um, any different crystals in here which is good 29 29 point which is really good on this radio because it means that you can use 29 megs fm correctly you can use everything you know i mean so many times we find one of these 10A through to 10Ds is fitted with um, a 41.5 meg crystal or something, and um, suddenly you know reads 27 megs. And uh, I'm a great one for keeping these things as standard as you know. But um, anyway, that's just not everyone agrees with me. But um, yeah. Anyway, Rue, I'm going to send you this video through just to have a look at this thing. Um, if it's sort of what you're looking for, I, I you understand your situation. Um, uh, give us a uh, sing out to us about that because I'm um, quite happy to. Uh, work something out for you um but um yeah overall um i mean just judging by its output and everything this um it's not a bad little radio as i said you know look it, I, I would respray the covers and um uh and then basically just you know make it look um, really pristine um and uh you know just to bring it all together but um no oh, where am i now oh 0.5 hang on <laughs> i was gonna say Yes, I won't see much there. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's, it's definitely definitely functioning okay. Um, let's just do something weird like 
Let's put it on 28.6. Just, just, just to test the oscillators working up on the other band. Wouldn't be a bad idea just to have a look. 28.6. Uh, that's 28.6. Sorry, glasses here. Let's have a look here. Oh, of course, pre selector. <laughs> I was thinking, why is it so deaf? Righto. <laughs> Good reason. Don't forget the pre selector. Yeah, no, that's fine. Um, and just for the hell of it, let's, let's, you know, just make sure we haven't got any crystals dead. Um, 21.2 uh, oh, will do. Oh, oops, should have said 28.1. Doesn't matter. We'll go up here. And once again, we'll find the signal. Yeah, no, that's right. That's fine. As you can see, yeah. No, that's good. And for the hell of it, let's check 3.7. Actually, no, let's go down a bit. Oh, it doesn't matter. 3.7 megs will be fine. Just being stupid. 3.7, and let's bring our pre selector uh, around, uh, ready for it to uh, be somewhere in the vicinity. Let's put 3.7 megs into this thing. Uh, zero, three, seven. Oh, yeah. Yeah, look, I was pretty sure that this was going to fire up pretty right, no matter what. Um, and as you can see on the pre selector, picking up there quite nicely. Um, and look, just for the hell of it, um, Let's take that annoying no, no, that noise off, and um, uh, let's just uh, put the load around there for the moment, and should have roughly what we saw on 40. We'll get a bit more out here on 80, actually. Yeah, no, a little bit more on 80 here. Um, they do vary a bit on their carrier, um, but um, yeah, it's probably about 80 watts there or something. But yeah, um, with that. I sort of like to set them all back on the tune position to a little bit lower level than that. Um, just during the tune procedure, you'd, you'd like to sort of you know tune around 30, 40 watts. Um, and depending on how someone set it up, look, that will vary from band to band, uh, as you're seeing on this. But um, um, be interesting, just for the hell of it, to um, just see on 10 meters, because 10 meters theoretically. Uh, should be lower, but not always. It depends on how someone set it up, and and that's the problem. Is there's very uh, quite a few different ways that you know people sort of decide to to do different things on these. Um, yeah, hang on, let's have a look here. So, ten meters, probably going to be more like forty, to be honest. Yeah, I reckon it is. See, eighty meters was was really picking a lot higher than I'd like it to be on a tune level. Yeah, about forty watts is sort of about what we like to see on these things. Um, on the actual tune, on the, you know, sort of um, knocked it back a bit. And let's have a look on the load. Yeah, I can bring it up on the load a bit, yeah, for sure. That's 60 watts there. So, yeah, look, they will vary from one end to the other a little bit, but uh, anyway. All right, look, this has just been a really quick look at this FT901DM. Um, this is actually more, don't get me wrong, uh, the chap that's been very patient with me, you know who you are. Um, this is an option for you, um, of course, no question, and it's probably an option to you first in the fact that you've been waiting a lot longer, but let me fire up the other one. Um, I, I just have a feeling that one's going to be a bit cleaner for you uh, and um, might suit the more collector side of what you're after. Um, Rue, I'll uh, send you a copy of this to have a look at, mate, and um, uh, see if it sort of suits what you're trying to um, do on your end. All right, guys, um, FT901DMs, they're a bit of a classic. Um, I'm just going to find... Um, <sighs> power cord for the other one. Now you might say, well, why don't you use the bloody power cord off this one? Well, let me tell you why. Let me show you actually. All right, so that's what you're used to seeing as a uh, FT901 um, power cord. It inserts into it, etc, etc. And that's probably the most common one that you'll see for sure. Now, this is the second FT901 uh, DM that we've got sitting here. I think we've got another two or three sitting around the place somewhere, but I oh, don't know. Um, but to show you the difference, they actually did this which is actually slightly different. Um, this was a um, uh, different one that they, they used on them. And I think it's some, got something to do with the fact that they were uh, possibly um, using some 101ZD parts and bits, um, four by threes, uh, they called them. And um, that, yeah, I'm not sure exactly what the whole oh, story was, but um, yeah, anyway, but that's, uh, that's the other one. Um, and so I've just got to, 
Um, I, theoretically, I can make that other plug work, but um, I'd just like to find the one that just uh, is the correct one for that one. I'm going to need it anyway, so yeah. When we go to sell the 901s, etc., if there's any left over after the existing customers we've got, we've got some speakers and, oh, I think external VFOs, transverters, bits and pieces. All right, well, I thought we better finish off with the radio that we were actually initially starting with. And, uh, yeah, uh, look, really uh, works on all the bands there. Obviously, that's the position just to show you uh, where there's nothing in the band switch. <laughs> and um, there's, well, now, something interesting. See this position here? Now, this was um, very common, that there was a position where people could pop a crystal in there, and obviously um, 27 megs could go there. Uh, I didn't even know that was there, actually, so I just noticed that then. Um, so then you go to JJYWWV, then back to 10D. So, yeah, I'm probably thinking more of, um, like when I was saying the 41.5 meg crystals and that, probably thinking more along the lines, you know, obviously when people would take them off the... FT7s, FT7Bs, the uh, 101ZDs, etc. Uh, I think I think the 40 um, was the FT707s were the 414875 meg crystals, and the um, yeah the FT101ZD I think from memory was still the 41.5. Correct me if I'm wrong on the comments file on that one, um, but um, I know they went to 414875 for the uh, tr conversion for um, FT707s. Um, over the years we've seen a lot of those um, believe it or not more pulling uh, pulling them out than uh, putting them in um, you know in the 80s when I was an apprentice you were, or 90s 80s 90s 80s yeah um, <laughs> you know my boss had me fitting 41.5 meg crystals um, from about I don't know really from about 2010 onwards people have been more the restorers um, they haven't been the hey I need this on CB not in, most people are not interested in older gear like this being on CB most people want it to um, you know, be a collectible that they've got on their uh, their shelf and, uh, you know, pull out every now and again, a bit of a play with for sure. So, um, yeah, it's just the trend of how things have gone. And um, these days we can't get enough um, original crystals for radios to replace out because people, you know, they threw away the crystals when they um, when they uh, changed over to 27 megs. Unfortunately, even I didn't keep a stack of them. Um, I, you know, I used to have a few, but... Um, I really have to scrape around now to find one. It's it's quite a pain in the ass, um, you know, trying to find the right um, crystal for the right radio. And um, um, we're you know sort of certainly happy to to you know change someone's radio back to standard every day of the week. But it's just a matter of <laughs> whether we can uh, have the part. Um, sometimes we're lucky, you know. I'll go through the parts bays and there's something sitting around. Um, but the uh, say the 42.5 and the 43 meg crystal that's a hard one to find these days um, without you know having to get it specifically cut. Pity I've got to go charge me bloody little batteries here. And don't get me wrong, um, it's my fault. I left it on for days. Um, and um, so and, and just sorry, let's just explain what that is. Um, uh, Rob did this for me. Great job, 7VZ. Um, um, I. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I lent him my meter with an ulterior motive and um, he was nice enough to um, I said oh could you have a look at the PP function it was really um, in trouble uh, someone had had a real bad you know play with it and I just didn't have time uh, to have a look at it and he said to me he said look you know I, I can dodge you something up and in the end it's actually worked out quite well I, I hooked this into my USB charger I've got two leads that hook in one uh, so the combined voltage of um, two 5 volts to do um, the um, uh, one side of it and the other side uh, does the um, uh, uh, da, 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 uh, bah, six volts uh, six and twelve it works out too but yeah sorry we're, we're charging a little bit under that I think from memory but it's um, it's really done the job well uh, but as you can see from my battery test at the moment yeah I'm, I'm definitely sort of about half so I'm, I'm in a bit of trouble at the moment um, but um, that's that's okay but I tell you what it's been working beautifully um, I get um, if I don't, if I remember to turn it off, I get quite a few months out of that. Um, there's no problem at all. It's when I am stupid and I use my peak meter and I forget to, and I leave it on there. And um, unfortunately, you know, draws current during that time. But anyway, hey, still love me bird meter. And I'll tell you what, um, um, we've got one up for sale at the moment, 500 bucks with a whole lot of bits and pieces with it, which um, can't believe that hasn't sold. I mean, <laughs> it's just so hard to get. It's got a few slugs and a case and everything. And I thought, wow, but look, you know, it's just a matter of um, people only buy them if they need them. And um, uh, people like me, look, I've probably got four bird meters in stock for myself here. Um, it's a bit crazy how many birds we all seem to have lying around the place. So maybe we've got to that stage where um, everybody's got a bird. <laughs> Possibly. Doesn't matter. It's only money. All right. FT901 uh, DM. Rue, I'll send you a message on this as soon as I get this loaded up. And um, 
uh, my other chap, uh, yeah, you know who you are. Um, I'll send this to you as well. But um, obviously, um, uh, look, the other one's not perfect either. With there's a couple of little marks on the case, but um, I just think out of the two, um, that's probably the cleaner of the two. But you know what? Um, yeah, we'll work something out. All right, 73s, VK3, Charlie Mike. Oh, my wife walked in here before and she said, you didn't say like and subscribe. Okay, like and subscribe. I figure you're going to do it if you want to and you won't if you won't. You know, like, <laughs> so look, hey, we definitely, you know, um, love it when we get new subscribers. Uh, absolutely, it's fantastic. Um, but I'm just not sort of into trying to sell my channel or anything like that. I, I, it's just for, you know, a bit of fun. All right, 73s, guys. All the best. Cheers.